Hmm. First Maniac. And now this photo. I think I like it. <laughs> Now the plot for Grand Piano is pretty simple. Tom Selznick is a very good pianist, however he suffers from stage fright and he's making a huge comeback performance. A matter of fact, his wife is even there to support him. And during his performance, he looks on his sheet music and sees if he plays one note wrong, not only will his wife die, but so will he. I have to say, I really do like this Elijah Wood. He's doing a very good job in these little indie thrillers slash horror movies that he's been doing here recently. I could praise Maniac to heaven and back of just how much I love that film. And this is just another good film on, on his filmography. It was a very suspenseful film. It was very creative, very unique in the sense it was trying to think outside the box. It turned music into a thriller. I really like that. It's phone booth in that very old school Hitchcockian style. I would say that the script is probably the weakest part here. I don't really feel like there was a whole lot of thought that went into the actual story itself, but I do think the director and Elijah Wood have taken a mediocre script and done the best they could with it. There are a couple like plot points and reveals that I wish could have been fleshed out a little bit more. While I really liked Elijah Wood in this film, the true star of this film is this director because he directs this film so beautifully. It is so well directed, so well tight knit, and everything just sort of falls into place and it flows beautifully. Like There's great shots of the stage and pan out shots and just really, really good stuff here. I would say it's so good that I actually looked up this director and noticed that he was the director of Red Lights. Now, I haven't seen this film, but I'm not going to lie. I heard really bad things about it. However, just seeing this film alone, I want to see more from this director. I want to see him break out more. I'm not saying give the guy a superhero, but give the guy like a, a Liam Neeson thriller and see what he can do. As a score, you guys go, I'm going to give Grand Piano a 3 out of 5. I really enjoyed this film, you guys. It's a nice, tight, suspenseful little film that's a little creative. So, you guys, what did you think of Grand Piano? Make sure to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And until next time, you guys... I'm the Slasher Movie Reviewer, and you guys have just been slashed.